Dinosaurs ruled the Earth for 160 million years. It seemed they would forever dominate the biosphere. Abruptly, in a catastrophic event, all the species are wiped out in an instant, leaving behind nothing but bones and mysteries with the hit of an asteroid. Where did the giant asteroid come from? Is Earth the target for another huge space rock, and would we be able to survive? This is the story of the last day of the dinosaurs, a gripping tale of destruction and survival that has captivated scientists and the public alike for generations. Get ready to travel back in time and witness the end of an era like never before. Let's dive in. To get into the details, we need to get back to 66 million ago. Yes, you've heard it correctly. Do you have any idea what the world used to look like in the ancient era? Well, 66 million years ago, the Earth looked vastly different than it does today. It was the Cretaceous period, and the Earth was dominated by massive dinosaurs that roamed the land. The continents were also arranged differently, with the supercontinent of Pangaea having broken up into smaller land masses. Moreover, the climate was generally warmer than it is today, with sea levels being much higher due to the absence of large ice caps. This meant that there were vast areas of shallow seas covering parts of the continents. The warm, humid climate also meant that there were extensive rainforests, as well as large areas of brassland. In the oceans, there were enormous marine reptiles, as well as various species of sharks and ammonites. Coral reefs were also common, and the seas were teeming with a diverse array of marine life. The Earth was a vibrant and dynamic world, with a wide range of life forms inhabiting its diverse ecosystems. While much has changed since then, do you know that Alamosaurus is a famous dinosaur? The name Alamosaurus is derived from the Ojo Alamo Formation, where the first fossils were discovered in 1922 in New Mexico, United States. If we go by its appearance then, Alamosaurus had a long neck and tail, with a relatively small head compared to its body size. It had sturdy, pillar-like legs that supported its massive weight and allowed it to move on land. The vertebrae also had elongated neural spines, which likely supported a ridge of muscle and gave Alamosaurus a hump-like appearance. You all will be shocked by knowing that Ankylosaurus had a small brain relative to its size, which is not surprising given its slow-moving and heavily armored lifestyle. However, its sensory systems were well-developed. Its eyes were located on the sides of its head, giving it a wide field of vision and it likely had a good sense of smell and hearing. Moreover, based on its skeletal structure, scientists believe that Ankylosaurus was a quadrupedal animal, meaning it walked on all four legs. Its front legs were shorter than its hind legs, which gave it a distinctive hunched appearance. Ankylosaurus was a large dinosaur, measuring up to 30 feet in length and weighing up to six tons. Its body was covered in thick bunny plates, called osteoderms, that were fused to form a rigid armor that protected it from predators. It will intrigue you all that Tarbosaurus was a large, bipill dinosaur that stood up to 12 meters, 40 feet, long and weighed up to 6 tons. It had a massive skull with powerful jaws and teeth that were designed for ripping flesh. Its eyes were placed high on its skull, giving it a wide field of vision. Its arms were relatively small and had only two fingers, with each finger ending in a sharp claw. Despite its fearsome reputation, Tarbosaurus went extinct along with the rest of the non-avian dinosaurs at the end of the Cretaceous period. Today, its fossils serve as a reminder of the incredible diversity of life that once existed on our planet. You all have got to know about dinosaurs like this. There are plenty of species like these dinosaurs. However, what has happened to all these mesmerizing dinosaurs? Well, one day, an asteroid impact refers to the collision of an asteroid with a planet, such as Earth. The impact of an asteroid on a planet can result in a wide range of effects, depending on the size of the asteroid and the location of the impact. First thing first, what is an asteroid? If you know then comment below, well, asteroids are rocky bodies that orbit the sun, and they vary in size from small pebbles to large objects hundreds of kilometers in diameter. While most asteroids remain in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, some can cross the paths of planets, including Earth, when an asteroid collides with a planet, it can cause widespread damage and destruction, with the potential to even cause a mass extinction event. Moreover, the most well-known asteroid impact occurred approximately 65 million years ago, when a massive asteroid, estimated to be around 10 kilometers in diameter, struck the Earth near what is now the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. This impact is believed to have caused the extinction of the dinosaurs and many other species on Earth. The energy released by the impact would have been equivalent to billions of atomic bombs, 
and the resulting debris and dust would have blocked out the sun, causing a global cooling that lasted for years. The more shocking part is that the asteroid was estimated to be about 10 to 15 kilometers in diameter and traveling at a speed of about 20 kilometers per second. It released energy equivalent of billions of atomic bombs, causing widespread devastation. The impact itself would have been devastating, creating a huge shockwave that would have triggered earthquakes and tsunamis. The asteroid's immense heat also vaporized any water it encountered, causing wildfires around the world. The effect also released massive amounts of dust and debris into the atmosphere, blocking out the sun's light and causing global temperatures to plummet. It also caused the release of massive amounts of sulfur and other gases into the atmosphere, which combined with water vapor to form acid rain. This would have further contributed to the collapse of the food chain, as well as causing widespread devastation to the ecosystems. This would have resulted in a nuclear winter effect, with the Earth's surface becoming cold and dark, killing off much of the plant life and causing widespread extinction of the dinosaurs and other species. Furthermore, the result of the asteroid impact was the extinction of around 75% of all species on Earth, including the non-avian dinosaurs. The surviving species had to adapt to the drastically altered environment, and it took millions of years for the planet to recover from the impact. When the asteroid hit Earth, it released an enormous amount of energy, which vaporized rock and other materials. This vaporized material then cooled and condensed, forming small droplets of molten glass, which rained down on the Earth's surface. These droplets, which are known as impact spherules, are found in sediment layers all over the world, and they provide crucial evidence of the asteroid impact. Moreover, the impact spherules are tiny, typically less than a millimeter in diameter, but they are incredibly important because they tell us about the conditions that existed during and after the impact. These fragments are formed when molten rock is ejected from the impact site and then cools and solidifies in the atmosphere before falling back to Earth. Tektites are typically larger than spherules and can range in size from a few millimeters to several centimeters. They are found in areas close to the impact site and can provide additional information about the nature of the impact. Due to the impact, glass rain has been found all over the world in sediments that date back to the time of the extinction. The glass fragments are often found in layers that also contain high levels of iridium, a rare element that is common in asteroids but rare in Earth's crust. The presence of iridium is a strong indicator that the glass fragments and the extinction event are linked. Moreover, did you know the impact also caused massive wildfires to break out, fueled by the debris that was scattered across the globe? The wildfires would have burned for months, releasing vast amounts of smoke and ash into the atmosphere. This would have further contributed to the global cooling effect, as the smoke and ash would have reflected sunlight into space, preventing it from reaching the surface of the Earth. By getting intrigued, we are in the very last segments of our video. Hope you have enjoyed it very much. Comment below your favorite part of the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and be a subscriber. Stay tuned.